Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. In my last video, I showed you how to install a mobile-only decoder in this locomotive. And I also showed you this absolutely tiny Keep Alive from TCS. This is designed for use with in-scale locomotives and decoders, but I'm going to see today whether or not it will work with this locomotive and this decoder. So, let's get started. Hit that little red uh, subscribe button, and when the little bell comes up, click on it and click all. Now, before we do get started, I want to give you some information again. This is the KA-N1 Keep Alive from TCS. And to my knowledge, this is the absolute smallest Keep Alive available anywhere. I've never seen anything this small advertised. Now, let me point out, though, this is designed for use with in-scale locomotives and in-scale decoders. So what we're going to find out today is whether or not this particular locomotive has an efficient enough motor, and the decoder that I use, the mobile decoder from Soundtrax, is going to be efficient enough in order to actually work with this specific Keep Alive. I'm hoping that this Keep Alive will have just enough power to get us over dirty spots, that kind of thing. And that's what a lot of you have been asking me for. A Keep Alive that instead of running for 20 or 30 seconds after it's removed from the truck, will actually just be enough to get you over a dead spot or a dirty spot on the truck. So we're going to take a look at that, find out whether this will do the job, and hopefully it will. But I don't know, I might be out a few bucks for this test. So well, let's go ahead, zoom in down here on the workbench, and get started with this installation. Now just as a reminder, I wanted to point out that on this particular Keep Alive, we have the blue wire which goes to your voltage positive, and we have, in this case, a black and white wire, which goes to a, a voltage negative contact on your decoder. And I showed you an image supplied to me by Soundtrax that showed you exactly where to make these uh, connections, and I'll show it again right here, so that you can refer to that if you decide you want to try this, if it works. I don't know if it's going to work, like I said, so we'll find out in just a few minutes. What I want to do, though, is I've got to strip off some wires, and then we'll start doing our uh, connections here. But first, we have to figure out a place that we're going to put this, because we don't want to fry anything in the process. So what I've done is I've taken a little piece of styrene and cut it so that it's going to fit right here on the frame members. And I'm going to take a little bit of my Loctite Super Gel Super Glue, and I'm just going to make a bead of it here on each side here. And let me get the other side. And then we're going to slap this down here. And one thing you have to be careful of, on this locomotive there's these little slots on the side of the chassis, and that is where a small ridge on the inside of the shell slides down into. So it gets the shell located precisely on the locomotive. And you don't want to block that, so make sure that your piece of plastic or whatever you use to do this is located um, far enough so away from this slot here. Okay, so that's in there now. That's holding. Good. And that'll serve as our platform for where we will mount this guy once we're done. So let's see what we're going to do here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is spot it here in the location where it's going to be placed. And then we're going to cut this wire a little bit shorter so it's uh, not all over the place. Put that aside for later. And let me get my uh, strippers. And then I'll just take my wire strippers and we'll pop off a small amount, like that, and like this. That should do it. Okay, and then I'm going to pre-tin the ends of the wires so that it will be a quick solder connection once we get ready to do that. Okay, so we got that done, and now we need to place a little bit of solder here on the voltage plus pad on this end of the decoder, like that, and right here, let me zoom in just a little bit closer, and then right here is where we want to attach the little black wire. 
So I'm going to do a little pretend right there as well. Not a lot because it doesn't take much. Hopefully that'll do it. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is attach the, the blue wire to the voltage plus. Okay. And make that connection there. Okay. And then I need to bring this piece over here. And we're going to attach it right there. So I'm going to snip this back a little bit. The uh, insulation pulled back a bit when I heated it in that pre pre tinning job. It's going to sit right there. I think what I'm going to do is solder it like this so that it's facing back and I'm not coming across another solder contact there at that diode. Okay, so I'm going to put it right down here. Okay, I'm going to hold the uh, wire right here and touch it with just a little bit of that solder. Okay, let that cool. Okay, now, always, as I've said before, give your solder connections a little tug just to make sure they're good and solid. Okay, and this one here, no problem. Okay, so we got that attached, and now we just need to mount it right here. And for that, I'm going to use my double-sided foam tape from 3M. And we'll... That'll fit there, okay, and we'll put it on like that. And give it a peel. And then we will place it just like this. There we go. So at this point, I've installed the, the uh, Keep Alive. I've made the connections. The light blue goes to the voltage plus. The black white wire, or the black wire in some cases, goes to this side of this uh, diode. So hopefully, now that we've got it wired up, it's going to charge up and provide just enough power output to the decoder to keep it rolling on dirty track. So let's go over to the module and uh, I'm going to set something up there so that we can test this. Now, as you can see here, I have set up four pieces of tape on the track to replicate dirty spots. I didn't think it would be a fair test to have one long strip of tape. What I wanted to do is see whether or not we're going to be able to get enough Keep Alive power to, to get over several different patches of dirty track. So I'm going to first run one of these locomotives, identical to the first one, uh, across these, and we'll see how it operates without the Keep Alive installed. Then I'll put the locomotive with the Keep Alive on the same track, and we will run it across these four patches of blue tape to see how it works. So let's give that a try now. Okay, first I'm going to run it at speed step 3 on a 28 speed step setting. So let's run it across there and see what it does. Okay, that's not a good start. That stopped it. Okay, not an impressive run. And by the way, this locomotive had been recently lubricated and the wheels have been thoroughly cleaned. So it should be in pretty good running shape. Okay. I've uh, gone ahead and placed the locomotive on the track that I just installed the Keep Alive in. I've also uh, installed a headlight uh, temporarily because this is a B unit, it wouldn't have one, but I've, in I've uh, installed one on here so you'll be able to see the whether or not there's any flickering of the headlight as it goes through this section of track. So let's see how it does. Same clean wheels and same recent lubrication, so it's in good running condition. So let's go ahead and run it across here at speed step 3 on a 28 speed step setup. I 
And just to show you that the Keep Alive is having an effect, let's watch what happens when I tip the locomotive and watch the headlight and see how long it stays on. So you can see that slow die down of the headlight as the capacitor discharged. Do that one more time. So as you can see, it's, uh, it appears that the Keep Alive is capable of uh, operating a, an HO scale locomotive without sound. This is a non-sound decoder. And it's going to get you across so, a series of dead spots, dirty spots, things like that. It's going to get you across an electrically dead frog. It does seem to be working as I had hoped it would. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great week, have a great weekend, and we'll see you here with another video from the DCC Guy. Bye now.